What's going on people? Today we're going to go ahead and talk about the main hand progression that you should be doing and this is specifically going to be for mix it, not necessarily like a cavalry set or range set etc. Just mix it, the ones that you would either use for fords or more than likely if you're going to be taking a rally etc. So first of all let's go ahead and talk about the main hand because the main hand is usually the the weapon that's gonna have a lot of attack doesn't really carry a lot of hp so what we're usually going for here is what main hand is going to be giving you not only army stats whether that's hp more than likely it's going to be attack though but just overall attack at first, we're gonna go ahead and cover the early game because newer accounts, you know, you, you start low level, you start level 20, 30, it's usually you're breezing through those levels. And once you are early game, this is uh, some of the options that you're going to have, right? Like you, some of the uh, newer people will see some of these options and they're, they're gonna be like, okay, once I hit level 31, I'm gonna build this crossbow. And then once I hit level 35, I'm gonna build this. And, my honest opinion is as far as a lot of like war equipment you really should not worry about it at all especially early game by the time you get to in the 50s that's when maybe you should start really looking towards upgrading your equipment but in the 40s and 50s these are equipments that you're probably going to get rid of pretty fast so i don't know if it's going to be really worth investing into but there are a, a few items that I, I would uh, absolutely suggest you build if you can. The main one being the Dragon Spite. It's a level 40 main hand and a fairly low level. And it's got really nice army max HP, 14%. Army stats are really hard to come by, especially early game. And then the infantry attack, 14% is also a really nice touch. So uh, the cost is relatively easy. It doesn't really require any pay-to-play uh, materials, and it's it's fairly good. Whether you get it just to gold or whatnot, I mean, it's really up to you. But um, Dragon Spite is for sure one early one that's going to be pretty good for you. The other one is going to be the Fiery Tomahawk. You got Cavalry Attack 14%, Infantry Attack 9%, and then Ranged Attack 5%. It's a good all-around weapon, and honestly, in my opinion, if you can get the t fiery tomahawk, I really wouldn't worry about any other weapon until re you reach level 60 because it's just a decent weapon all around and you're going to be needing a lot of materials for other things. So if you take a look at the fiery tomahawk, you can use a lot of these materials just from gathering. You'll get a lot of these just from gathering, so it's a fairly uh, easy weapon to make early on. But the issue with that is a lot of these materials that you're going to need, you may need for other things like your flute, your uh, circlet, etc. for building and research, which is what you sh really should be focusing on early game. But if you really want a weapon early on, I would suggest, first of all, ignore a lot of these weapons because you're just not going to use them for long enough to, uh, to waste those materials that you can use for something else. But along the way, if level 60 is just way too long to wait, the Dragon's Bite um, or the Fiery Tomahawk is going to be good options. Now, let's go ahead and talk about after you get past level 40. Because once you get past level 40, you'll get in the 50s, 55s, and that's when a lot of new weapons become available. Here's the main issue though. A lot of these weapons, especially here, you'll see level 50. There's just so many different options that a lot of people are tempted. Okay, well I can build this to blue. I should just go ahead and build this. I can build that, etc. But... The main issue with a lot of these weapons is that a lot of these aren't really good for mixed. And while there are some weapons that I would suggest you build for specific things like infantry blast, range blast, cavalry blast, etc, etc. A lot of times you don't necessarily need that. But we're going to go ahead and cover that just in case. If you're going to be going for infantry, Militia Saw is a pretty decent one to start building if you're going to be building uh, slowly. For Cav... I would start building the Kajal. It's a level 55, but it is one that you will probably be using all the way up until end game. Uh, and then for range, we'll go with the Worm Rod. These three weapons, Infantry, Cav, and, uh, and Range, are probably some of the weapons that you can start at, as, as early as level 50, but you can keep using pretty much most of your time that you're going to be gaming, unless you go for like the really big upgrades, right? Um, but 
I really would not uh, say to go ham on these weapons so early on. If you want to start making them to green, maybe even blue, sure, go ahead. But again, before you even reach level 60, there's really there really shouldn't be too much warring. And even if there is, these weapons are not going to make or break you. So if you can wait, I would just either chill with the Fiery Tomahawk or with the, uh, the Dragon's Bite all the way up until 60. Now, when you reach 60, that's when it gets fun because basically everything opens up for you. And you have all of these extra weapons that just the stats are through the roof. But the bread and butter of it all is going to be the Frostwing Greatsword. Now this one is just great. You'll, you're going to see a lot of accounts with this weapon. And mainly it's because it's infantry attack 28%, cavalry attack 28%, ranged attack 17.5%. So it comes with a little bit of everything. So once you go from Fiery Tomahawk to Frostwing Greatsword, that's already a really great jump. And the cost of it is 4 uh, gold Frostwing Hearts, which generally speaking compared to everything else is actually fairly cheap and um, the drop rates are not too bad so frostwing greatsword is probably one of the uh, weapons that you're going to use the most once you reach to level 60 and there's a couple of ways that i would suggest you try to build your weapon and not just your weapon but just your gear overall right so if you're starting out and you're just reaching level 60 and you're trying to build your gear um, what I would suggest you do is try to look for packs that are like this Material Mayhem is a really good one or Material Madness for instance is another good one And these are packs that are going to help you get a little bit of everything It helps you uh, take up gear in all slots And that's especially going to be valuable when you're still building up your gear If you still have blues, purples, even gold Because this is going to give you really good value It gives you a little bit of everything Um so if your gear is looking maybe something like this right but let's say that most of it is blue maybe a couple of purples etc instead of going with packs that are specific to a monster like like cottage roar set for instance right look at this it gives you 50 chests and 10 forbidden tomes which is like okay that's pretty good but if you compare this 50 chests and just 10 of the forbidden tomes for five dollars where this one for ten dollars gives you monstrous crate which will give you anything from common all the way up to legendary from all of these really good items and then look at the chest 83 83 83 83 83 83 like you see the value the value is just exponentially better when you're buying chests like this so try to stay away from the the packs that are specific to monsters and gear because usually the value there is horrendous and try to stick with material mayhem material madness things of that nature because if you take a look at this set right here most of this and hell maybe if i just use uh, frostwing you take this whole set right here that i'm using you can literally be working on every single item here off of one pack right because every single item that i'm using uses a different item that you can use to upgrade it so you don't have things that is going to clash with each other so for instance you're not trying to make three cups and meaning that you can really only upgrade one at a time because taking all three of them at the same time is going to be rough you know so just things like that uh is something to keep in mind and especially when you're working on your set and that's why with the main hand the frostwing greatsword is really good because there's really nothing else that you want to make from that whole set and the frostwing greatsword is really really solid now once you have the Frostwing Greatsword and you want to go ahead and actually in increase your the value of your main hand, that's when you start upgrading to a Skull Crusher. Now, you can go Skull Crusher if you're not going to be using uh, the, the scrolls because they use the same um, mutated brain. But the Skull Crusher is actually one of the better items that is non-champion and it's actually very... Uh, comparable to champion so uh, you can go fiery tomahawk for early game all the way up to level 60 then at 60 you can start making the frostwing greatsword because it's going to be super easy to make and then from there from the frostwing greatsword you can start trying to upgrade to the skull crusher one thing to note the skull crusher is only better than the uh, frostwing greatsword at the same level meaning that if you have a frostwing greatsword at mythic and the skull crusher is gold the frostwing greatsword is still going to be slightly better that's also taken into account that they're all jeweled the same uh, but yeah 
Once you get over to the Skull Crusher, then you're either done or that's when you decide to either are you going to go champion or are you not going to go champion. And this is where the next and probably one of the biggest decisions for main hand is going to come in because now you generally will pick between champion edge which is the cavalry sword or the champion blade which is the infantry and ranged sword a lot of people don't use champion great sword it's not necessarily because it's bad it's mainly because of the stat distribution you have cavalry and ranged which is it's not terrible but when you consider the other uh gears that you can get etc it's probably the ones that you'll least want to get just because of stat distribution so how would you go about picking your next upgrade especially one of the biggest upgrades and especially if you're only going to pick one here's generally what i would suggest uh, as far as the main hand especially if you're going champion the champion blade since it's infantry range it kind of clashes quite a bit with cups and a lot of people what they like to do is they like to go three cups especially if you're not going to be using champion accessories just because their cost is through the roof so a lot of people what they like to do is they go the champion edge because it's got a lot of cavalry stats and they'll go like three cups and you use that that cavalry main hand to offset your accessories being so infantry and ranged heavy now if you are planning on going champion accessories like whether you're going valors or uh faiths etc then i would probably suggest going the champion blade route because the champion blade first of all gives you more stats just in general uh but the stat distribution will be a little bit more even because you will have quite a bit of decent calf stats coming from your accessories so again if you're going for cavalry accessories especially the champion ones the uh the valors faiths i would suggest champion blade if you're going cups and don't plan on going uh, champion accessories then i would suggest the champion edge but at the end of the day that's what you want to really strive for is to get the end game and get either the edge or the blade or both and in the meantime like i mentioned before go fiery tomahawk or dragon spite whichever you have the materials for then you can keep that all the way up to uh frostwing greatsword then skull crusher and then the champion a couple of other ones that i do want to mention are these right here right like ghastly cane eon axe i'm pretty sure there was another one but uh basically these that just recently came out that have the cost is super super high i don't recommend you going for them unless you're going to be getting them from things like material mayhem uh because they are super expensive compared to the stats that they give you and if you're going to be going for champion gear either way the champion gear will always be better uh, not just because of the stats but because the champion gear is going to give you different choices champion gear you can use for mix etc so something to keep in mind there are other gear also that i would suggest you not touch decadent sword is one of them um also kraken's armor is another one uh what's another one what's another one i think that's it uh nectar orb it's another one that i would suggest you not touch now when I say not touch, it's not necessarily that these weapons are bad, because they're not, and they can have their uses. But the issue with these weapons is that the item that they use, whether it's Queen Venom, or the Halos, etc., there is an item that takes precedent that you should be building before these weapons. So when we're talking like Venom, we're talking about the, 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 the helm. You should probably be building the Bumble Helm over the sword. If you're talking about like uh, the decadent sword, you should be building the cups over the sword. So it's not so much that the items are bad, but you probably have better choices to be using those materials for. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions regarding main hand and where you can go going forward that maybe you didn't see here, let me know down in the comment section and let me know what you guys think. I think we'll be covering each slot going forward. Um, that way I can give people at least some sort of pathway into where to go and what to do generally speaking obviously this game is in black and white there's a lot of different circumstances a lot of people building their accounts differently so not everything is gonna be a hundred percent but this is just like a general idea of what you should probably be doing if you're going for from early game all the way up to the late game uh, yeah appreciate you guys for watching and until later